I borrow? I didn't need them after all. Uh. The genius moments that came from your character came from your soul, your mind, your sense of humor. Phyllis, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah? Phyllis was a, a neurotic, but to me, it was, it was as if I were the Ladies Home Journal perfect woman. I, I just hope that you and Sharon will be as happy in your marriage as Lars is in mine. <laughs> you really liked me. Oh, I always you liked me a little bit more than Rhoda. You were of a higher, you know, higher <laughs> moral. Yes. And uh, in terms of taste. Hey, I'll order you something. Mary, if you can borrow a dress from me. Oh, thank you. You are both so thoughtful. Yes, Rhoda, that's very thoughtful of you, dear. But Mary and I have the same taste. Good. <laughs> you notice any strange people around here today? Just the usual. <laughs> Gonna send her to a motel. A motel? Who said motel? Though, <laughs> heaven knows, it wouldn't be a first for her. <laughs> One story, uh, Rhoda has, has lost her job. She's been fired or something, and she's hanging around, and I can't stand it. She's driving me crazy, and she's so lazy and just a lout. We have to shake her up. We have to slap some sense into her. Rhoda! <laughs> Rhoda! <laughs> I'm ready for lunch. All set. Bye, Ted. Uh, see you guys in an Bye. hour. Come on, Bye. Phyllis. Of course, Lars. <laughs> Lars? What about Lars? Oh, I've been sitting here trying to think of who it is that's been playing around with Sue Ann Nivens, and it finally came to me. And it is definitely... not Lars. No, this is... Betty's character came, yeah. came on, and apparently had a little affair with my husband. I'll come right to the point. I'm here to talk about you, and Mary's here to see to it that I don't rip your face off. Fill it in. So I fix her wagon. I think what we have to talk about is more important than your chocolate souffle. I'm sorry, but this is a very critical time. Well, I'm sorry. This is a very critical time for me, too. <laughs> Tyler Moore Reunion will continue with Georgia Engel.